Hello again. Today we're looking at the third of three domestic aquaponic systems that I've got going. The last one was the one with the perch integrated with the greenhouse just back here. And the one before that was uh, the one with the yabbies. Today, something a little bit out of the ordinary. I'm going to be introducing you to the West Australian or Western Australian Marin, Charax canii. Now it holds the distinction of being the world's uh, third largest freshwater crayfish. It is only exceeded in size, uh, maximum size, by two others and both of those are in Tasmania, Australia. But uh, those species are not conducive uh, to breeding uh, for commercial purposes due to their, uh, their behavior and their growth rates and things like that. Uh, and so the uh, Western Australian Marin is uh, somewhat more conducive to that and uh, they are a little bit different to the other uh, crayfish and uh, a little bit more fastidious, a little bit harder to grow but um, very interesting, something uh, I'm trying out and uh, hopefully they will end up breeding uh, for me in this domestic system. Welcome to the Greenhouse Doctor at Greenhouse Stories where I share with you some of my experiences in the greenhouse, the garden and with aquaponics and some of my experiments and consequently some mistakes uh, from which uh, come some ideas that will help us together grow some of our own food. Let's take a look at today's topic. Let's uh, look at a few uh, clips to familiarize ourselves with what's actually in this uh, aquaponics uh, system in the tank uh, and uh, get an idea of, of what we're trying to do here. And here we have a marin, about two to two and a half years old, much, much bigger than a yabby. And observe the head the carapace and the spines on the head. Very different, much bigger beast. And this is the lower view of our marin. It's a male. These projections on the lower part of the last pair of legs. So, beautiful beast. Very nice to eat. And here is a female marin taken out, rescued from entanglement from the feeding strings. Let's have a look at her. So no projections on the ends of the last two legs, confirming it's a female. So that was uh, some detail about the Western Australian Marin. You can see the size of it, somewhat much bigger than uh, the, the yabby, the common yabby. They have a very delicate uh, flesh, uh, very nice and highly prized actually and on the market they can actually fetch prices uh, equal to or at times exceeding uh, that of uh, lobster and, and other um, uh, saltwater crayfish uh, and that's why they are considered uh, quite a delicacy. The marin are capable of reaching sizes up to the two kilograms but that would take an enormously long time as uh, their growth rates significant, significantly diminish uh, with age and most of their uh, growing is in the first two or three years and so consequently after two or three years they're somewhere between 200 grams to possibly 400 grams uh, and that's considered plate size and uh, commercially most of them are um, harvested at that size and age. These marin were shipped to me uh, via cold storage, they're uh, sent uh, at about 5 degrees Celsius. They've had to travel about 5 hours on the plane and from the point of dispatch uh, to my door uh, it would have been a significant, probably closer to 10 hours in total 
in cold storage so consequently I ended up losing uh, about 15 out of 54 um, partly due to the fact that the system firstly also was not fully cycled and not quite ready um, I was getting too excited with the system and uh, I ordered the, uh, the Marin in sooner than I got everything ready anyway some of them uh, are still here after about uh, four months so uh, hopefully they'll continue to do well and um, we'll see how they go so there's one Marin sitting on the Marin hides there quite comfortably so as you can see I'm using the Marin hides throughout the tank or much like uh, what I presented in the other video for raising many uh, yabbies in a confined space providing them with habitat and spatial separation so that they don't cannibalize each other systems of pipes in the depth so if you want to refer to that just look up that video there we go that's our marine there so the tank is a 4,000 litre or a little over 1,000 gallon tank much like for the perch system that I did windows cut in the top to allow light in and uh, degree of aeration simple system biological filter with the K3 balls in that blue tank there and the system is integrated much like the perch system with the greenhouse so let's just take a walk through that so the water from the tank is pumped through these four pipes into the aquaponics planting pipes here with the planting baskets as you can see a small internal uh, planting system of pipes in the greenhouse and then it exits the greenhouse back in this corner here the planting pipes currently have some strawberries plants in them but uh, mostly unplanted at the moment it's uh, w pretty much close to winter uh, not much food going into the system not much waste I've tried uh, a few new seedlings here uh, in the plant uh, in the greenhouse and uh, hopefully they will proceed to grow but not much um, nutrients in the system at the moment but hopefully in the new year or the new summer uh, we'll get a little bit more happening in here so here outside of the greenhouse the water flows through a system of larger planting pipes you can see them here and I can plant larger plants at the moment we've got these shade loving because this is on the shady side of the greenhouse shade loving uh, plants that can grow with their roots directly in water using them mostly to uh, do some of the filtration and removal of nitrates at the moment and then the water returns so there's an inner inner planting pipe and an outer planting pipe and then it returns through this system down here to what is essentially an S-bend so the S-bend is going to trap some of the uh, solids and wastes and things that come from the plant roots and uh, other uh, bits that enter the system and I can drain it out through this drain here if I need to and then we change the pressure so that the, the water uh, flow is diminished so that um, a lot of the solids can get trapped in the bottom there comes back up and down again and under the ground in a charge system back into the tank as you can see so that's the third of the three aquaponic systems if you want to view the others uh, see my channel greenhouse doctor at greenhouse stories uh, on YouTube and uh, if you'd like to see more please subscribe and uh, give us a thumbs up see you next time